and it wouldn't be a trip to Georgia without a Georgia peach, which I'm going to be eating. I actually have a towel here as I'm going to be eating it in the car on my way. And it's going to make it so that I don't um, make a mess. Anyway. My Aunt Phyllis lives in Dahlonega, Georgia, and I can't go through Georgia without visiting her. She has always been a graphic designer and artist. She paints only when she is enjoying doing so. And then she sells whatever she sells. She also has acted in local plays and has gotten parts in movies that have been shot in this area. I really enjoy her company and I hope you will too. Welcome to Dahlonega. This is where Phyllis has lived for, since what year? 96. 1996. Wow. It's I a, love this town. I know you do. <laughs> and what's your church you go to? The Georgia Mountains Unitarian Universalist Church. God, I haven't been around the square in ages. After a little stroll around the square in Dahlonega, we drove back to her house, which is just a short drive from town. She has her paintings all over the house, mostly of beautiful northern Georgia and animals too. She's developed a following from doing art shows through the years. Phyllis is in her studio now and going to give us a tour. This is Phyllis's studio right here. I love this room. It's, I know, I do too. It's soothing. It's a very soothing room. It has good spirit, yes, good vibe in it, definitely. right? How about what you do now, and this is your studio. Yeah, okay. This, this is, are you ready? Uh, okay, I'm ready. This, huh? I'm ready. Okay, this is my studio. I don't know if you want to pan. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go around. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm a graphic designer, semi-retired. I still have a couple of clients that I still do work for, and I'm 76 years old, hey. Um, in fact, this morning was quite busy. The person, the people that I deal with do um, advertising specialties like t-shirts and caps and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, these are some of the things I just did this morning where they're, um, they'll be sent off. This is going on, on some uniforms. Um, Here's some caps, and of course they always want to see what it's going to look like. So, you know, that keeps me busy, you know, as far as making some extra money, yay team. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I'm not doing that, then I have my paintings that I do. This this painting here is called Goldenrod, and it's actually right, it's, it's from an area that's right across the road. Of course, you can't see it from here. Don't we hike that sometimes? Didn't we take the dogs down there a couple times? Yeah, and it's yeah. all closed off now. You, oh, can't, you can't go, go there? there. Yeah. It belongs to somebody or something? Well, it belongs to the city of Delonica as green space. But if it's green space, aren't you supposed to use yeah, it? Anybody, but, well, what was happening was people, in fact, neighbors across there, a bunch of rednecks, um, would go back there with their little four-wheelers, and they were tearing oh. it up. Yeah. So they've closed they it They ruined off. it for everyone. <laughs> and it's kind of weird because when I had my horse, you know, I used to ride back there all the time. Uh -huh. And I'm sort of glad that she, you know, she did die in 2007. Because you wouldn't have been able to I, ride I there. I wouldn't be able to ride back there now. So wow. it kind of happens as they happen. I guess. So anyway, <laughs> and these, let's see. Um, the reason there's an empty space there is because it's up an exhibit at Hell in which if you see that part of the thing, that was the oh, cow, yeah. the red-headed cow. Oh, the red-headed right cow, right, yeah. right. So, and then these are some of the other paintings. Um, tell me about this one on the door over here. Oh, that's my horse, Zara. That I figured. Yeah. And and Zara is is buried in your yard, yeah, as we know. Yeah, she's buried in my side yard, yeah. This is, in fact, I've, I've done a lot of portrait things of horses for friends of mine, so I made some money doing that, you know. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Who, who's that dog there? Nobody. Just, just I just did as a hound dog. I thought he was funny looking. So, cool. Anyway, I um, like that. Okay. And this one up here? This one. Okay. This one was when I went out west, and I stayed at a dude ranch in Colorado, and you could see the fires even then. Oh, um, yes. They said they were probably about 75, 80 miles away. 
But I remember when we were sitting in the dining room and I was looking out the window and that's kind of the view we were seeing. That is sort of it. It gets that weird glow to yeah. it. Yeah. Right. And so I, when I got home, I just, that's kind of imagination. It's not like I had it from a picture or anything. I was just getting a feeling of, of the fire and kind of how it was looking. Right. You and got hoping it. that it didn't come our way. <laughs> yeah, right? No, but you've got it. Only it looks more beautiful. Okay, this one is called The Walk in the Woods. I love this one. Yeah. And it's funny because I never thought about that. But, you know, these are the shadows from the trees, right? Yeah. And Scott, who's doing my bathroom with the tiles, he says, I thought they looked like steps. And oh. now every time I see it, I said, yeah, oh, they no. do look to like steps. Oh, no, to me they look like the shadows of the trees. I love this one. I think that's beautiful. Isn't that funny, though, how everybody yeah. sees it a little bit different? Okay, and this one is, is this is imagination again, but it's St. Simon's marshland kind yeah. of look. And this is kind of, you know, the storms coming in over the ocean and all that. So. Do you use, like, reference photographs? or? Yeah, I do. No, but then it kind of... I can use photographs, but then it takes a life of its own. That's cool. You know, so you're not really copying the photo. Right. It, it just gives you something to start with. Yeah. This painting here, this painting is, let's see, the first painting I did on it was a waterfall. So it was this way, you know, turned around that way. Uh, so it was a long one. I had a waterfall. So there's a know. waterfall under there. Oh, yeah. There's a waterfall under there. And then I turn it around because I, I tried to sell it and it wasn't selling so I said okay time time to bring it home and gesso over it and start over so I had another one where I painted a, a landscape similar to this but not exactly the same and then I decided you know I think I'm going to do one with with water you know like a, a lake or something and put the sail so this is the last one so there's actually two paintings underneath this one. ah that's great <laughs> hey you know it's good canvas I mean, the framing costs so much, so yeah, that was pretty expensive. Yeah. This one here is again from a photo, but it's it's what we call the wetlands across the road from where I live. And like, if you were coming in from my my house, I'd be coming in from this road and coming in. Yeah. So I did this painting, and then I said, you know, it needs a little life to it, so I put the deer in there. I love it. That's the one you have the card of. Is that the one? No, that's a different one. That's, that's a different a winter one? one. Yeah. And these are just various paintings. And there's a famous painting off the top yeah, there. Yeah, this is Big Boy, and I wrote a book about Big Boy, and that's the cover that was used for the book. I remember. So. Yeah. Okay. I think that's... What do you got over here? Let's just... I know, they're let's... kind of hidden, aren't they? Oh, that's, that's up beautiful. the road from me. That's uh, Maxine Ryder's. She uh, leases... Uh, pasture for other horses and stuff. That's so gorgeous. I call that Riders Creek. That's lovely. And this is North Carolina up near Maggie Valley. Kind of where I'm which going I love. after this. This is just sort of imagination, but it's kind of a mountain, North Georgia mountain scene. Right. And this one here is just down the road around the corner. This is C.F. Collins cow pasture. Which you live on Johnny Collins Way, yeah. Way, and it's owned by the Collins family. Uh, C.F. Collins is the daddy, and then his daughter lives right next door, Carla. And then you have the Lawson family, who own a lot of the land. So, And then there's the Norrells, and they own a lot of land. So I'm the oddball. <laughs> anyway, and then this one was uh, my, my neighbor, Jill Gray, who's my best friend. This is her pasture and the, her, the, well, horse she used to have. Does she have any horses anymore? Um, she leases her pasture out to people that have Arabian horses. So I think there's only three or four there now. Uh -huh. They had about six or seven, but they've cut back. She still has good scenery, huh? So, <laughs> anyway. Um, and, and the scratch on your face, you're on top Oh, yes. Is that showing up? Oh, wonderful. I should have had makeup I don't on. think so, actually. I don't know. Because yes. there's a light right there, so my, I don't think my it's showing up. My cat ran over me the other night, just, you know, in the middle of the night, waking me up. I said, like, wait. <laughs> and I, and I, a cat never I, does this. I know. Is... I know. And I, at first, I thought it was just one spot because I could feel it right there. Right. And then when I got up in the morning, I realized, oh, crap, you know, it's it's <laughs> all down here. Oh, no. Funny. Anyway, all right, I'll, I'll end it there. But thank you, Phyllis. <laughs> I appreciate the tour. One can see where my aunt gets her inspiration from. 
We're going to head over to the town of Helen, where my aunt has some paintings for sale. On her way to Helen, my aunt pointed out the Sate Nikuchi Indian Mound, which is topped with a gazebo. Captain James Nichols put this here in the late 1890s. Hopefully he was unaware that the remains of 75 natives were buried here. Helen is a picturesque town with waterfalls, specialty shops, and a scenic state park. We are visiting the Georgia Artist Store where my aunt has been selling some of her paintings. Yeah. Now, what is your name? Carl Hatcher. Carl Hatcher. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I keep meaning to come to your gatherings and stuff, but I live in Delonica and it's always like, well, not today. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we had our festival this weekend. Oh, um, did you? Uh, yeah, um, the uh, Christmas and the Live Festival, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So, um, so I missed it yesterday. Or yeah, was it last I mean, weekend? Well, um, yes. Yeah. I'm going to try to pull my Aunt Phyllis away from this conversation with Carl Hatcher so she can show me some of her artwork hanging here. Which one's yours, Phyllis? Okay, this one over here. And what did I call it? Uh, Blue Valley. <laughs> and where is that? No particular place. It's just kind of imagination. It is a, it's out of your mind. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. That's yeah, really it's pretty. Yeah, the River. Oh, very pretty. Okay, the red-headed cow, which there's a story behind that. When I went out to the pasture of my neighbor, uh, C.F. Collins, and I asked him, I said, I want to take a picture of his, they have like a little tiny log cabin on the, uh, the river over there. And he said, yeah, just go through the pasture. I said, oh, okay. And so I went, and this cow kept following me, and I thought, what's going on here? And so finally I took a picture of her. It looked like she was due to have a baby any day. And anyway, I took a picture of her and I just decided I need to do a painting of that cow. And I have done, I think, three other paintings of this same cow and sold them all. Is it really redheaded? Yes, it was like the redheaded, the, the Georgia clay, I guess, it got in her. Oh, and that's why. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's great. Here, I'll take so. a close up of that. <laughs> and then I did this little one of the deer. It's kind of crooked. Let me see if I can straighten that. Oh, I like the eyes on that. Nice eyes. Uh, it's hard to straighten it. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Just providing some background music for the visitors when they come. Oh, I love it. It's great. Nice well, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.